Hi, this is Anit from Pristine. In this session, we'll talk about corporate finance. This topic carries around 8% weight in CFA level 1 exam. In this particular session, we will focus on the basics of corporate finance. So one topic that I've chosen for this session is the net present value. So finding the present value is one of the most important topics because this particular concept you're going to use again and again, not only in the CFA level one curriculum, but in CFA level two and level three curriculum as well. So I will explain this complete process using TIBA2 plus or professional calculator that are allowed in the CFA level one, two and three exams. So let us start with the process. Suppose I have a project, okay, and this is the timeline. So the project will have initial cash outflow of CF naught and cash flow of CF1 at t equal to 1, CF2 at t equal to 2, and the cash flow of CF3 at t equal to 3. To find the present value, I need to discount all these cash flows back till t equal to 0. Right? And suppose the discount rate is k for this cash flow. So present value component for the cash flow at t equal to 1 is PV1. This is PV2, PV3 and this is PV0. So since the cash flow is at t equal to 0 for this, we need not to discount it by k. Right? And sum of all these PVs, PV0, PV1 and so on will give us the total NPV of the project. And whenever we have this kind of a project, the, the project decision is based on the value of NPV we get. So if NPV, NPV is greater than zero, we, we can accept this project. Whenever NPV is zero, we would be indifferent to accepting or rejecting the project because NPV of zero is not adding any value to the to the project holder, right? And whenever NPV is negative, we need not take that project because it is decreasing our value. Now this K, this K is the proxy of the return we are expecting from the project, all right? And moreover, uh, these cash flows are after tax cash flows at time t. Also, these cash flows are cash flows related to this particular project only. All right. So with this background in mind, let's go to a question and see how to apply this concept using our calculator. So suppose we have a project A, we have a project B and the cash flows are given to us. These are after tax cash flows and the initial cash flow or the initial investment is also given to us, right? Now the total cash flows in both these projects is 84,000 here as well. We have 84,000 and the initial investment is also the same. Without using the NPV concept, one could say that bo both these projects will have a similar value, right? But this NPV concept will tell us that which out of these two would be more beneficial to take. Suppose these two are mutually exclusive projects, that, that means I have to choose only one out of these if I choose this, I cannot choose A or if I choose A, I cannot choose B. So I should be able to decide which will give me the highest value based on these cash flows. So here the NPV will help us. So we know the cash flows at different times. What we need to do is we need to find the present value. One way is put the cash flows here, that is t equal to 1, we have 12k, 14k, 
16k and so on and discount it at t equal to zero right with the interest rate of 10 percent or the discount rate of 10 percent so here the first cash flow would be 12k upon 1 plus 10 percent the second present value would be 14k upon 1 plus 10 percent raised to part 2 and so on so instead of calculating it this way which will take a lot of time we have a direct functionality in our financial calculator so if you see your calculator you will in the in the second row and the second column okay you will get a key which says cf all right so press that cf key you will get some value under cf not so first try to clear all the memories using key second and clear work so now all the memory registers would be cleared all right so now start with typing in the values under cf not cf1 and so on so under cf not we have minus 60000 so minus 60000 i press enter i press down arrow i will go to c01 c01 is 12000 again i press 12000 press enter then i go down again so it's saying f01 f01 means what is the frequency of this cash flow so this 12000 is occurring only once so next is something different so i'll say i'll keep this f01 to the default value which is 1 so i'll go to fc02 again i'll type in 14000 press enter down arrow key and will keep on doing till i finish all the cash flow inputs so once this is done i'll exit the sheet to exit you need to press second and quit button which is the first one after you quit this cash flow sheet go to npv press the npv key once you enter the npv sheet it will ask for the interest rate so type in 10 percent and press enter press down arrow key you will get npv equal to zero this is something that you need to compute so press the compute button which is the first button so after computing you will get the answer as 18,020 right so this is the answer for a similarly you can find the answer for b as well using the same procedure and that will give you 5563 as the answer now clearly we can see that the net present value of project b is far higher than the net present value of the project a so definitely we will go for project b instead of project a so the problem which was looking very simple in in, in the beginning so the problem was which out of these two projects is better so both were giving us the same cash flow both were uh, incurring the same cost the discount rate was also the same so at the face of it we thought that both the projects are equally good but in reality after after finding the net present value of these projects we came to know that the project b is far better than the project a so that is the use of npv so the takeaway from this particular session should be how to find the net present value of any cash flow from a series of cash flows at different time using your calculator that is one and understanding the understanding the meaning of npv would be the second takeaway that will help you in solving a lot of problems in fixed income in corporate finance in alternative investments etc so if i hope you have understood this topic and you have enjoyed this video if you have any doubt any query feel free to write me at anil at eneve.com
i hope to see you in the next video thanks for listening guys bye